just start this off by saying I was not a fan of being tagged in this type of video. Only pick five fragrances for life. What? Every single day. What's going on YouTube and welcome back all of my Uncommon Sense Fam and Clan. If you're new to the channel, I want you to take a look around at the content and if you find out that this is the place that you should be, I want you to do all three. You want to like, comment, and subscribe. We just start this off by saying I was not a fan of being tagged in this type of video. It just required too many life-changing decisions and I'm actually very glad that this is not something that I have to deal with. Only pick five fragrances for life what? that's a cruel situation to put a frag head into nobody backs baby into the corner my man page of styles tagged me on this video and like i said before y'all i love to be tagged in uh, these types of videos and i feel like you know hey i'm a man of my word you tag me if i say i'm down i'm down and so here we are with it so one of my first fragrances that I'm going to talk about today is a, in my opinion, is a staple to a gentleman's collection. Just for the simple fact that I've bought this fragrance a few different times, I feel like it can be used in so many different situations. So that fragrance is Perry Ellis Prom. It's got fingerprints on it and I'm mad about that. frag heads in the community know what this fragrance is about it's a blue de chanel clone i can't get mad at this one at all for doing what it does and doing what it does well it's kind of shower jelly it's fresh it's clean it's very sexy too. i feel like this one's very good for many different situations like it's kind of a swiss army knife fragrance in my collection i can wear it to an interview i can wear it casually out i can wear it to work i can wear it to you name it so i really feel like this type of fragrance is one that you actually have to keep around Perry Ellis Perron is my first fragrance that i would definitely keep for life so as you guys can see <laughs> i've been hitting this one in the head this is probably the only fragrance i have that's this low yeah probably the only one that's this low next up the next fragrance i feel that i as a frag head would need to keep for life it's just one that started my fragrance journey and it's one that i actually have to just keep around yo bone is oh my god sandalwood cinnamon it's just one of those fragrances that i feel like you have to keep this around for life i only have a small one of it now because i wanted to make sure I'm sorry. I wanted to make sure that the reformulations hadn't killed it and it wasn't one that is not like I remember it, but I, once I got it back, it was just like I remember it. This is one of the fragrances that started my fragrance journey. So this is definitely one I'm going to have to keep for life. Yope Om. Um, I have a new one, a flanker, Yope Om um Ice. So it kind of has similar DNA and it has the original dna and has a slightly different feel to it um i feel like having this one and that one kind of one in the same but the blue takes it in a fresher direction so yo um is definitely one that i would have to keep it's definitely one that i would have to keep for life next up this is one that i would definitely have to keep for life i had kind of been going back and forth on once i empty this one will i repurchase and quite frankly the answer is yes it's one that causes a lot of i won't say controversy but it's highly discussed in the fragrance community um especially amongst the fellows but again everybody loves it even if they hate it they love it in some type of way this is one that i talked about so much my sister friend <laughs> bought it for me and was like here shut up i'm tired of hearing about it now you have it
do you also vaj? This is just such a staple to me. It's quintessential gentleman. It's classy. It's very fresh. A lot of people say it's loud. I love it. It's a fragrance that kind of defines and fits what I believe to be a classic gentleman. Being a Renaissance man myself, I really feel like this type of fragrance needs to be in your collection. Even if you don't repurchase it, it should have made its way into your collection. I don't even want to spray it right now because as you guys can kind of see, <laughs> we're getting low. That's that's what getting low looks like to a frag head. Getting low looks like having, what's that, 25% missing, 30 some odd percent missing. That's what getting low looks like. But uh, it's such an intoxicating ozonic scent. This is the one that I like the most. One, because it projects a little bit more. And the other fragrances sit a little closer to the skin. So maybe once I empty this one, I'll try one of the other ones. But don't hold me to it, because I may just recop this same one. Dior Sauvage EDT. Number three. Number four was a gift to me. And again, it's one that I had probably talked about so much that my folks were tired of me and they ended up getting this gift for me. This, I feel, is an, indeed a staple that can be worn in many different occasions. Cooler weather, mostly, I feel, and probably to a social event whenever we get the OK or go ahead to be safe to socialize without wearing a mask and being more than six feet apart. Versace Arrows. This is the gift set. As you can see, the travel spray, that's my go-to. I've been hitting travel spray in the head. You don't want to just be carrying around your other toilet, like the big bottle. Who wants to do that? I know I don't. As you guys can see, it's a considerable amount missing. Maybe about 10-ish percent. I've had this one since it came out. Mm, apple, the mint, Tonka. Ah, this one to me is one of the cold weather staples. And on top of that, it is kind of like a fragrance that I would wear to go out and club and just have a good time do hood rat things with my friends so <laughs> I just feel like this type of fragrance specifically Versace Eros is a staple in my collection this is one I don't think I'll be able to be without I'll probably have this for a good amount of time if I empty it <laughs> I'm repurchasing it I believe they've done, said that they're reformulations etc I'm not too interested in that part but I'm very excited and happy that I have this in my collection. And this little leather pouch is pretty cool, too. Love that. But the travel spray kind of gets stuck in there every now and again. So I kind of have a challenging time when I put it in there. I just have to take off the cap and just spray myself until I can wiggle it out of there. So that's number four. Versace Eros. And number five. This is a fragrance that... I'm so excited that I actually had a chance to experience this. I got turned on to this one with my Scentbox subscription. Saw the bottle and I was entranced from the jump. So I said, if that fragrance smells half as beautiful as that bottle, I'm batting a thousand. It's made a few lists of mine. It's a heavy hitter in my opinion. It's a top 10, 10 out of 10. It smells amazing. It performs great. It's perfect for a lot of different situations. I have positive memories associated with this fragrance. One of the fashion shows I was in, I wore this fragrance and that night was the bomb. We'll have to show a video of that whole night, man. It was crazy, but it was amazing at the same time. Bulgari, Man in Black essence you see how beautiful that bottle is like head to toe that bad boy is pretty and the top has this like you can turn it off and on by twisting the cap <sighs> this one has some booze some spices oriental notes this one lasts 
so long on my skin. I think the most time I've gotten out of this one is about 18 hours. This one plays no games. Top to bottom. The box is beautiful. The fragrance is beautiful. The bottle is beautiful. This is like my most favoritist. <laughs> I don't even think that's a word. This is my most favoritist designer fragrance in my collection. It just does everything I need it to do in on time. Oh, that is my keep five for life. I already told Paige, look, I don't threaten anybody with violence, but you, I got rubber bullets for your ass. <laughs> I don't want to maim. I don't want to maim. I just want to lightly injure. <laughs> I'm kidding. This took me through some changes and I was upset about that. I'm like, oh my God, like what am I, what am I going to pick? What am I going to take out? What am I going to put in? And it was just challenging. I went ahead and made some final decisions, bang this video out. Shout out to Paige of Styles for tagging me in this. I appreciate you so, so very much. Bro. I'm not going to tag nobody. This is an open tag. If you want to do it, do the tag. I don't want to put any other frag heads through this strife of trying to whittle down in a collection and the only pick five, like they can only keep five. I think that's a cruel, horrible joke. <laughs> Open tag. If you guys are feeling adventurous and you want to hop on a tag, make sure that you add me on YouTube so I can check out your videos. It's been your man, Uncommon Sense. Happy Vlogmas. Happy holidays. And y'all be well. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, the top of the sides, and all the way around. I'm out. Till next time.